When you place an image into InDesign, there are two elements in play. There's the frame, and then there's the image contained within the frame. Now, if I want to move the frame around, I go and grab the black arrow tool, which is the selection tool. So if I want to move this image at the bottom around, I can just simply grab it, move it around, no problems. I'll just undo that. Now, if I wish to move the image around within the frame, I would go and grab the white arrow tool, also known as the direct selection tool. So if I select that, you can see if I click on this image just down here, it is indeed the image within the frame that's been selected. If I now grab that and move it around, it's the image, not the frame that's moving around. Very nice. Um, this is a great workflow. It works very well. But you can see it's also potentially very tedious if you're having to shuffle a lot of graphics around because you're jumping back and forth continuously between the black and the white arrow tools. So Adobe came up with the content grabber. So if I go back to the selection tool, the black arrow tool, you can see again, if I grab the frame, it happily moves around, but you can see when I'm over the image, this donut appears in the center of the graphic. If I grab the donut, which is the content grabber, I'm now actually moving the image around and not the frame itself. So you can see if I grab outside this area, just there here, I'm moving the frame. If I grab the content grabber and move around, I'm moving the image within the frame. Very nice. Okay, so that all works very, very well, but there can potentially be some problems using the content grabber, especially when you are using small images. So I have such an example just up here. So you can see when I hover over here, the content grabber is now relatively much larger compared to the overall image. So if I'm working quickly, and let's say I want to quickly move this picture up the page, maybe I'm shuffling things around. If I accidentally grab that content grabber and I move up, maybe I click away and suddenly I notice, oh, I thought I'd move that image. I guess I didn't. If I move it up, and then I maybe I move it back down. I think everything's okay, but you can see that the damage is already done. I've inadvertently moved the content within the frame. Maybe not a big deal in this example, but there might be situations where alignment is critical. And especially if this is getting ready to go to print, I might've created a very big problem accidentally. So if you don't like the content grabber, if you don't like seeing it visually pop up, or if you're concerned that you might accidentally screw things up, like I did in this example just here, you can turn the content grabber off. So up under the view menu, if you come down to extras, hide content grabber. If you turn that on, now you can see whenever I hover over any image, that content grabber is not coming up. Hope that helps guys, catch you later.